Uh, that's a spectacular garden. A little bit of Italy right here in Central Texas. Well, coming and speaking about Central Texas, we're going to be talking about one of our favorite plants, the pecan. And joining me to talk about pecan trees and a family pecan business is Lisa Berdahl from uh, Berdahl Pecan Farm. And it's a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank thanks for, you. Thanks for being here. Pecan, uh, the uh, Berdahl Pecan Farm out uh, off of Highway 71 between uh, Austin and Bastrop. It's been around as a family business for a long time. It's been 30 years, right? It has. My husband, Hal, and I planted our first orchard 30 years ago, and it was about 5,500 pecan trees. Just a few. <laughs> Just a few, exactly. Out in that beautiful bottom land there. It is. It's a uh, river bottom land, which is the best soil that you can plant pecan trees right. in. Right. That's where you see them growing native, and uh, you, you just follow Mother Nature's cue out there. And it has it is blossomed and grown into a, a full-blown enterprise. And so you, people can, let's talk about the, the variety of things that uh, you, you provide out there. Of course, the pecans themselves, and people can come out and can they actually harvest themselves? We don't let people come and harvest okay. pecans because of the machinery that's involved. Uh, sure. And it's a pretty busy place when okay. all that's going on. Oh, yeah. But well, they're more than welcome to drive through the orchards, mm -hmm. which we have expanded mm -hmm. to where we have about 15,000 pecan trees that are growing and that we harvest nuts right. off of. Well, it's a little different. For, I remember when I was a little boy growing up in upstate New York and going to pick the apple orchard, uh, the apples from the orchard. But uh, when you go to the pecan farm, those are pretty high limbs. You don't want to get out of there. <laughs> exactly. That's why we don't let people come in. It can be dangerous. <laughs> you don't want them beating up on the trees with poles right. either, which exactly. you see in the parks often. Now, there is a gift shop out there, and uh, you sell trees and a whole variety of pecan-related items, right? Right. What started out as just a small little retail store has blossomed into gifts, chocolate-covered pecans, pecan pies this year, pumpkin pies, and, of course, shelled and cracked and in-shell pecans. Okay, so the, a whole variety of things. And this is of great interest to our viewers right now because everybody's interested in food that can be grown and produced locally, including in their own backyards. And people are just very interested in things that are distinctly Texan and doesn't get a whole lot more Texan than a pecan, right? Exactly. It is the native tree. Right. Native and uh, one of the emblematic trees, really, for our area, really, when you think about it. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about how things have fared in, in this hot, dry weather with pecans. And I think you're out heading out towards Bastrop. Everybody thinks about the fires and the drought. How have you all done? It's been a challenging year. We changed all of our irrigation systems over to a drip mm -hmm. system to conserve water. Sure. We had an underground system which we feel like did a better job of watering all the roots and mm -hmm. all of the land, but we feel like we need to be conserving water right now. Well, we all need to be conserving water, so you're ahead of the curve a little bit on that one. And uh, the, the trees have fared well. The trees are fine. Mm. Um, if we saw this for 10 more years, they can suffer. Mm -hmm. As, you know, if the water wells go down, I mean, we're, we could anticipate more problems, but right now, they're fine. Right. So uh, people can count on coming out and getting the pecans for sure. And when they're out there too, uh, they, can, they can actually purchase trees, correct? Exactly. We have trees for sale and people are still buying them and planting them even though it is so dry. Yeah. What's the, what's the best way uh, to, to plant pecans? Now one thing that, that's really different about pecans than say your typical tree is they are taprooted plants. Uh, so that makes for a pretty impressive root. Uh, you got to be prepared to dig a little bit of a deeper hole, right? Exactly. All of our trees are container-grown trees, mm -hmm. which make the trees a lot more healthier than a bare root tree. Sure. You don't have to cut the tops off of them, so that's a real benefit. Mm -hmm. And the holes do need to be dug about two and a half feet deep. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have <laughs> proper good soil right. where you can dig a hole mm -hmm. that deep. We really encourage people to not plant mm -hmm. pecan trees if they don't have the proper soil 
to grow them correctly. So if you're in caliche and you take your, your, your spade and you hit rock within an inch of the surface, probably not the best place for a pecan tree. Exactly. Now right. we'll have people that are very, they just want a pecan tree so bad, but mm -hmm. we really encourage them to not plant those. Right. But uh, there are plenty of places in our region where people can. And, and I know in my, my last backyard, we had nothing but deep clay as far as you could dig. Just be prepared. Two and a half feet deep is pretty deep for a lot of folks. So, it is. Yeah. It is. But uh, what are the, in terms of varieties of pecans, what do you like to recommend to people for this region? The varieties that we like are Pawnee and Choctaw. Mm -hmm. The Pawnee is the fastest growing variety in five years under good standards, good water conditions, fertilized conditions. You can get some pecans in four to five years. That's terrific. Pawnee. It, Pawnee. Right. And it grows really well here. It's paper shell, thin mm -hmm. shell. Mm -hmm. Choctaw is also another favorite that has been around a long time. People are a little more familiar with that name. Mm -hmm. It has the same characteristics as the Pawnee. It takes a little longer to come in production, but those are the t best varieties for this area. Okay, and so those Indian name varieties, people will see lots of them, but the ones they should remember are the Choctaw and the Pawnee. Yes. Okay, and um, you know, one of the advantages that you get with these two varieties, I understand, is that they're disease resistant. And that's something that people need to be aware of, right? Exactly. A lot of varieties that people have heard of from other places, if you were to plant them here, you would have trouble with diseases and you would have to spray them and it's a lot of maintenance. So that's why we recommend the Pawnee and the Choctaw. Yeah. Well, even though they're native, and this is one thing that I, I remember early on in my career hosting a radio program, uh, people would have asked questions about pecans, so I got in touch with the extension agents and said, could you please send me you know, a detailed list of all the things you recommend for pecan care? And it went on for page after page after page of recommended spraying schedules, this, that, and the other. So if, if you make the wrong choice, you could get into a big management issue. Exactly. We have a variety that we have that's Wichita is the mm. name of it. We love it, but the neighbor next door does not like it because they're on, we're on a totally mm. different spray schedule, mm -hmm. and it will not work for somebody that doesn't manage their spray. You're right at the right times. And you know, and when one of the manifestations of uh, the disease is often is you get the the fruit falling from the tree, the nuts falling from the tree early. Is that and there's that scab disease or some other kind of disease that causes that? Scab is a humidity issue. Mm -hmm. Wish so we had that this year. <laughs> on a wet year, those are really hard to, to grow. Right. On a dry year, not they so do <laughs> really well, which is so nice. This year, this not year. so bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. But, but uh, what are some of the issues that, that do cause, you know, people, we get questions all the time about, why are my pecans falling in the middle of the summer or something like that? Normally they're gonna fall because they're in stress. Mm -hmm. Be that water, fertilize, zinc spray is really important. Mm -hmm. um, it's very basic, really. Right. Um, but people think they're gonna plant a tree and just leave it alone. Right. And they, we always say you get out of it what you put into it. Well, and that's wise words for any gardener. Now, Lisa, we just have a few moments left, so I want to make sure that people understand exactly where you're located again. So why don't you tell me uh, uh, how you describe folks how to find Bernal Pecan Farm. We're located 10 miles east of the Austin Airport on Highway 71. You can't miss the retail store. It has a huge squirrel they just added. So <laughs> okay. look for the squirrel with the pecan in its mouth. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, for the squirrely out there in Central Texas, I'm sure that would be easy to spot. And we thank you so much for being a part of the program. And congratulations on uh, uh, basically a family-owned business now, 30 years going strong, attracting people from all over the state of Texas. It's great to have you on the program. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. All right. And coming up next is our friend Daphne.